And so, and so that's, I think, an important context to note, because I think when people hear, some of the people in the West are going to hear some of what you just said and cringe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because because they're, they're thinking from their context that's very different. Right. Um, and so I think I think, but I think you've communicated very clearly. Um, yeah. Is that we set it up and and that the commitment is there for a reason and for the liberation. Uh, it's not it, it. That's what's really first is yeah. the liberatory educative process. Yes. Um, not merely getting some diploma. It's not. It's it, that's that's trivial. Yeah. Some people might think, oh, they want to keep it for a long period of time to give certain kind of, you know, to uh, what do you say? Some may even think that uh, we are trying to brainwash, brainwash them <laughs> by keeping them for a long. Here, you see, there are no boundaries. Right. There are no boundaries. You've been here. You've seen here. Children are, you know, Children are uh, communicating with people from different parts of the world. Okay. They are playing with them. They are learning different languages. Mm -hmm. They are experimenting on entrepreneurship. They are going out to the market selling things for the community. Mm -hmm. And they are just having interaction, you know, left, right uh, uh, and center, you know, right. with everybody. Right. So the, the, there is no one idea that we are perpetuating. The idea, of course, there is this great the 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 the, the overall encompassing philosophy of mother and shri arbindo right. but there is no one religion that we follow there is no one particular uh, uh, you know uh, theory that we follow right. uh, we believe that everybody has that innate possibility innate uh, nature and one has to discover that that's right. the only right. thing <laughs> and whatever aids into that process we tell you, we provide it we right. try to bring it right so we have volunteers from different parts of the world with different ideas, different ideologies, different religion, different race, different languages, and they are constantly communicating with our students. So there is no way that we are trying to, you know, <laughs> brainwash them and create right. some kind of... <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, but I, I wanted to bring that up because, because I mean, from the psychological perspective, um, the, the democratic nature is actually the exact counter of what you would consider uh, what psychologists call a total situation. So there's the fear of immersing in a long term and things like that. Mm -hmm. but, but what you've described from the very beginning and what I've seen here is that it is open. It yeah. is an open system. It is uh, that the children are uh, freely interacting. Uh, you know, they really are. It is an immersion. But it's a voluntary immersion. Right. It is that you've created such a welcoming place where those children feel that they belong. Mm -hmm. Is that they develop an identity, and it, it's informed yeah. by the ashram. Yeah. But it is not determined. It is not controlled. It is not the, the, those things that would be define the exact opposite. That the brainwashing type thing, that the cult thing. Mm -hmm. um, is about control and overwhelming them and, and uh, you know, sleep deprivation and, you know, those all those other things. That does not have any. <laughs> <laughs> so, Our children are as free as anybody in the world, sure. you know. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.